Hi guys! Alright, so like in my last video I mentioned I'm going to the army. Um, I leave in less than a week and I'm going to Fort Sill, Oklahoma for my basic training and I wanted to show you guys what I'm packing. I might get rid of this stuff, might add more stuff, who knows. This is just what I have so far. So this is definitely subject to change. In this first pouch that I have here, I just have all my paper stuff. So I have this folder that has all my important documents. I have my orders in it, my transcripts for college and high school. Um, I have my birth certificate. I have my name change forms because I did change my name. I have my um, glasses prescription, my social security. I have the old card with my old name on it and the new one just in case because like I said, well, I actually didn't know this, but I did change my name legally. So that's something. I also have the doctor's forms for the other stuff I'm on. Um, so just bring anything you're prescribed. I already did the direct deposit form with my recruiter, so I don't need to take that. I have a notebook here that I'm just probably going to use to write letters and stuff. I have my list of addresses and I have um, pre-stamped or I guess I could say pre-stamped um, envelopes in here. Like I have a couple and then I'll just have my family send me more. For this next one, it's where all my extra main stuff is. So I have, those are just empty their blog bags. Okay, so I have one pair of socks um, in here so far because these are kind of like crew socks and I'm looking for socks that go up to like mid shin at least. I do have these Fox River socks. Um, I bought a lot of these. I'm not gonna take them. They are mid calf, like the ones I want. I think this one I'm gonna wear there and I know that we're gonna get issued a ton, but just in case, um, I'm gonna have my parents ship me the other Fox River ones I have because I don't want them to get taken. So from most people I've talked to, they say just have someone ship it to you and they're not gonna say anything. So I have these ones and then I have these ones because they allow you to wear black or white. I have the underwear that is very granny panty. Um, I have eight. So two black, two white, and then four kind of nude colors um, because they don't issue women uh, females underwear, but I guess they make you buy some, but I don't know. And then in here, I have like a shit ton of bobby pins. I'm definitely going to take some out because I have some um, long ones, I have some curved ones, and I have some just regular ones. I don't think I need all these to begin with, so I'm just going to take out some and have my parents ship them to me. And then I have hair ties. I have... My little Denman brush because I use like a full size for brushing my hair but obviously I don't want to take up so much room so I have this well it's actually called a tangle teaser but I have q-tips cleaning ears cleaning your weapon I have my shampoo and conditioner um, a razor with three razor blades um, from what I've seen most places aren't gonna take these away from you some companies don't allow you to shave so I don't know I might have to throw it away who knows I have double bar of soap in a little soap box soap carrying case oh shit and then I have a lock I actually had three locks but I just put the other two with my parents it's like just ship these to me if I need them I have a miniature shaving cream I have mini deodorant and then I have sunscreen I know they issue you sunscreen but I mean, just in case, like if they don't. And then I have a toothbrush that folds into itself, which I think is really cool. So I don't need to like carry one of the little head things that they have and floss. I originally bought those floss like six and then I realized that those have the little sharp things at the end and I was like, they're not gonna let me take that in. And I have a mini toothpaste. Okay, and then I have some bras. I have, what is this, four I think? Yeah, so three black, one nude. Um. They might say no, they might say yeah, they're unlabeled, so I don't know. Um, oops. Let me just... So, yeah. I have this brush, because this brush isn't really going to super help with the bun, but this one is definitely, I feel like it would. Okay, so I have one big towel for body, and then I have like a facial towel rolled up in there. You can probably buy these at the PX, but like if you're showering at reception... Like, I don't know what you would do. Uh, let's see. And then I have, like, a shit ton of moleskin. This is actually a shit ton. It's, like, five, six packages of moleskin. I have way more than my parents can send to me in case I do need them. 
protect your feet if you're getting blisters from rocking. And then I have pens for writing letters. So I do have a got to be gel thing, um, hair gel, but it's like, I think six ounces and the air airports only or like TSA only allows three ounces. So I'm going to need to like squeeze half of it out into something else, like another tube, leave that at home because I don't know if they're going to allow me to have something that's like unlabeled at basic. So if I just keep it in its original packaging, I'll probably be fine. I just need to squeeze out half of it, roll it up so TSA knows that like half of it's gone. Um, I had other things like I had hand sanitizer, but I was like, they're probably just going to give me some there. As for wipes, I don't really want to bring any because I'm not going to need them in reception. So if I need wipes, I can just buy them at the PX before we go to the field or where, whatever we're going to be doing. I do need to add menstrual products like pads and tampons. I don't think I'm going to bring pads. I think I'm just going to bring tampons just because I feel like it'd be really uncomfortable to bring big bulky pads. But then as for sleeping overnight, like I don't, <laughs> I don't know, this is clearly still very much a work in progress. I think I will do a reaction or like a follow up video to this, seeing what I brought and what I didn't need. Yeah, thanks for watching guys and I hope I don't die. If you guys have any tips or tricks or anything related to basic training, especially for females, especially for Fort Sill, especially for 68 whiskeys or anything that you guys want to say um comment down below i would love to hear what you guys have to say um if you guys did bring something to basic that i included in my backpack and you didn't need it let me know down below i know that most people are like you don't need anything except your social security driver's license or id and something else i don't remember i'm just not that type of person that can go with like three things and that's it like you know sorry i have needs really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like or whatever the fuck. I don't really care. And hope you guys have a great day. Bye.